Hey, it's Paul Bostrom. Um, a lot of people were asking me about this image and kind of how I put it together in Photoshop. So, I'm just going to kind of go through those layers and show you guys what I did and how it works a little bit. I can't do it real time because it's already done, um, but I will try and do that again in the future. Um, so, stay tuned for that. Anyway, um... So this is the base image that we started with. Um, we got the lights set up on tripods. They did not move for the whole time. But we just layered kind of, I think, four different, five different images here. Um, the first one is a bucket of water to the back side here. Um, kind of almost violent a little bit. Then I just kind of wanted to add a little bit of the wash over the top here. Um, so, that's what that is. And it's only showing this little bit, as you can see from the layer mask. For those of you who don't know what layer masks are, that's basically what the, this little thing here. The part that's black does not show up, the part that's white shows up. This next layer here was actually the last one we took. Um, there we go. Uh, my friend Alberto threw this so hard, we actually had water on the camera lens. Um, which means we couldn't do anything else except start over. But what we got turned out good, I think. This year, I added this because you can see the tripod moved and we had some messy action there, but it came out okay on this. I fixed it. So that's what that is. So everything looks clear. Now, I just wanted to add a little bit of water kind of kicking up on the wheel so I sampled it from other parts of the image. So that's what that is. Then, the, I think the headlights were on in this picture, but you know, the flash was so bright that you couldn't really see them. So I brightened those up a little bit, and then I wanted to see kind of more of the effects around here. So I brightened it more. If I went back and did it again, I don't know if I'd do it quite that way, but what's done is done. It came out good, I think. I think this is supposed to be in the headlights uh, as a color adjustment, so printing everything blue a little bit once again. Might not have done that. Then I had to kind of clean up some of this stuff in the background, including Alberto, because, uh, yeah, it just doesn't work. Sorry. Um, that's better. And you can see some of this van is actually kind of still there, but you never know. So, that's okay. This here, I don't even know what that is. But I'm just going to leave it on. I think it might be... I think it might be some stuff that was cleaning up in front of the car. Because, you know, a little debris that doesn't look cool. Anyway, I'm just going to leave that on. And... Okay, you can see this. There's like kind of a flare there that I added. Then a finer flare there. This is all this headlight stuff, I think. Yeah, brighten that up. Brighten that up. But this just looks kind of like not enough contrast. It's just kind of bad looking. Um, so I added a curves layer on here, just with a mask. So that's starting to look better. Okay, right here. Uh, I think that's a color adjustment. I'm not actually sure, but you can see the light change. That's more stuff with the headlights, foreground, whatever. Good stuff. But then I turned up the contrast on the whole image because it needed a little more punch. This is just on the car, which, as you can see from the numbers here, didn't really change much. Probably not even super necessary. Um, this layer here, see how the front of the car is just kind of a little bit blown out too bright turn that down a bit so you can see the reflection there and all that looks a bit better then I kind of wanted this side to stand out a little more Just a little bit too dark so I brightened that up quite a bit I'm liking the way that looks I might have in hindsight pulled that out but whatever good Okay, this layer here is really important. You can't see anything change really on this, but what's going on is it's a huge saturation layer. Um, this is really for another video, but I'm going to at least show you what I did. Um, 
there was a bunch of nasty purple fringe action going on on all this pretty much everything so I had to get rid of that you can see it go away right here and there's some green here too so I got rid of that that's what that layer was anyway okay so I really just kind of wanted to isolate the car more because it's just kind of sitting out there so I added some kind of flares from the side and I wanted this light to be more involved I guess it's doesn't have enough punch so I pulled in a gradient there over that light then I just kind of wanted to make it a little more blue so I put a blue adjustment layer on there and that's quite a bit right there and you can see that's only on four percent so a little bit goes a long way um, then I even think I made it a little more blue with uh, some color balance um, and right here where is this okay there's another really heavy gradient that's actually at 52 percent so I don't know if I would have done that either but it's fine so here's more from that side I'm really just trying to isolate the car on it and I think that's working there's more from up there on the left and what is this just brighten the headlights more because it really needed it and that's pretty much the final image so hope you guys got something educational out of that and yeah go out and take awesome pictures and as always subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff because there will be